Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, back with another NBA 2K15 Awesome My GM Mode as the New York Knicks guys going into season of the 2018-2019 season after winning the championship last year. We are the defending champions. Uh, I got the rotation ready for the season. Let's go through it right now. Tyus Jones with 36 minutes, 34 for Russell, 32 for Melo, uh, 34 for Labasier, and a 35 for Kaminsky. On the bench, you got 19 for Dunn, 18 for Diallo. Uh, 12 for Gasol for now until we move him, obviously, eventually. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, last year wasn't a fantastic free year for him as he's getting older and just getting worse overall. And his brother retired, so he will be short behind. Uh, Grant with 10 minutes after I having no clue what the fuck is going on with him because he's getting worse and worse. Uh, Akwenegba with 5 and Wade with 5. Well, let's go like that. That'll be good. Well, no, I lied. Uh, and then McDaniel and Kirkland sitting there on the bench with no minutes. And our boy straight out of Compton, <laughs> Floyd Reed, sitting on the reserve. So let's start the season, guys. Let's get into this. Let's get a working. Let's get that grind on, boys. Uh, straight up to December. Uh, how satisfied with your staff? Top to bottom. Very satisfied. We going all the way with this staff. Maybe we will see. Detroit's already wanted to make moves. They are not happy with their team going on the season. They want to get rid of the first overall pick. Courtney, Gooden. Oh, man. And Jalen Hardy for Rebu Aquanegba and Scott Lavasier? No, that's not a good trade at all. Throw in a first and I'll even consider it. No, sir, Reno. Get out of here. Winning 2-0. Give me that 3. 3-0. Three 4-0. 5-0. 5-0. win streaks. Yes, I do think it'll last. It's never-ending. 5-0 to start the year. Let's go undefeated. 82-0. I'm feeling it. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm fired up. I hope you're fired up too. We win. It's two big wins in a row. You're hitting... The team seems to be hitting on all cylinders right now. You must be proud. Very proud. Go me. Anytime the team is assembled, goes out and does that, yes, it validates what I'm doing, the right thing. Nobody liked that except for the press and myself. We are 7-0. Oh my god, we are so good, guys. Like, oh, whew. Uh, player accurate, 3% less progress fatigue. Uh, let's go with that. We are on fire. We are unstoppable. Kaminsky is day-to-day, -day, but he can play through it, so he's gonna. Good for him. He is fine. He's a tough kiddo. We are 8-0. 9-0. Oh my god, 9-0. We are, oh, 10 in a row. We are unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 10-0, baby. This is just unheard of in the NBA in history. We are the greatest team ever to be put on the floor. Ever. Um, but people are bothering us. People are coming in, screwing with our mojo. Okay? People are okay. People are... Players are fine. Let's go... T oh, Marcus Hall's voice is about not going to get his minutes. Not hard at all. He's fine. He can scroll a pair. He's getting traded soon, so there's no worries. I mean, he'll be out of here in no time. Don't even worry about it. 11 and 0. Oh my God, we. This is this is impossible. This is this is unheard of. This is just unheard of. Why am I going to change the stuff like that, trainer? When we were 11 and 0 to start the year, I I don't I don't know why we would want to. I'm considering firing you right now, to be honest, because that's just a ridiculous idea, ridiculous concept to come into my office and throw in front of me. No, ah, oh, we're not changing anything, Kerr. We're eleven and zero. Why would we do that? What is going through your mind? Eleven and one. Ah, oh, see, Craig Dunn is growing increasingly frustrated with his role with this team. Do you plan on making him a starter or continuing to let him stew? Um, role change. Uh, eventually he'll be better. He, eventually he'll be a starter. He will eventually. 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 Uh, praise the coach. You're doing a great job with the team. We're 12-1. and one. I'm not happy with that one loss. I'm not going to lie. Just saying I do expect it better out of you, Steve Kerr. All right? I expect to go 82-0 and 0 each year. Now I'll have to go 81-1, and 1, which is, eh, it's okay, but not what I wanted. 16-1. <laughs> and 1. Five game winning streak. Yes, it'll last. Wow, 16-1. and 1. Like, tell me, kids. Have you ever had a GM mode series season go that swell to start off? I know I haven't. That's pretty impressive, I think. Um, 
I wish the loading times weren't so long in this. All right, so, uh, we're... Oh, yeah, we'll keep going. We'll keep going through December, I think. And then we'll check out stats and call the episode wrap there. There we go. There we go. We are just... Uns I don't know why we're doing so good. Oh, yeah, because I put together such a great team. That's why. Because we kept Mellow, which was a very important part to this team. I'm very glad we kept him, but... Come trade deadline, he may be gone, he may not be. I don't know. We lost another. What? Three straight losses? Are you kidding me? I'm going to look at firing a coach because that is unacceptable. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, Jeremiah Green is cramped, so I can just a pussy. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't. Oh, look at that. He's doing so bad. I, I, don't, I do not accept that on this team, Grant. I need a lot better out of him. This isn't. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Grant. At all, but it's not okay. At high, Whew. I'm not happy with Grant. I'm not happy with Grant at all right now. Um. Oh wait, no, I'm not changing with that shit. I we're 18 and four. Those three straight losses are gonna hurt us. They will come back to haunt us when we come to the playoff picture because we're gonna be we're gonna be 78 and four, and someone's gonna be <laughs> someone's gonna be 79 and three, and it's just gonna it's gonna hurt. High ankle sprain. Jermai Grant is out. Oh my god, this guy. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Oh, Grant. What are we doing with you, Grant? Let's let's give this guy some minutes. Grant, Grant, Grant. It's not okay, man. Not okay. He's, he's doing shit. He's getting hurt now. It's it's unacceptable. You will not allow that. Um, Got your back. Yes, I do think our winning streak will last, of course, because our team is doing so swell. Wow, we're doing a really good start to the year, though. I'm really fired up because of how good we're doing. Really excited about it. Uh, 23 and 4. Wow, that's just unbelievable. Um, won't change that. Did I just get a texty text? I think I did. My phone's. I'm sitting on my phone, so that's super awkward. But, oh no, I just touched my ringer. Whoopsie. <laughs> the things I talk about when I'm waiting for the loading screen. Golden State's giving us a ring. They're going to give us Mr. Thompson and ooh, Kevin Looney and David Lee for Kaminsky. Ah, no, I don't think so. I don't think that's the deal I'm going to make. His salary is 1.7, but in total it's $39 million. Let me take a look at this guy. because I don't know how the hell that contract's structured, but I want to know. I want to know. Making one million this year, twelve the next year, twelve years rather than thirteen. Okay, all right, interesting. I got. Oh, they must have resigned him this year or something like that. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, but yeah, no, Kaminsky's not going anywhere, at all. He's going nowhere. Uh, Grant's all better though, so that's good. That's good to hear. How did Kirkland do in his presence? He did okay. He did all right. He did okay. Nothing fantastic, but he did the job. And that's what we ask it of him. Uh, and that's where that's going to go. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So continuing on through Desombre. we got one more game left to go. Then I'm going to look and see if there's anybody we can need to re-sign. Uh, sore hand for Labasir. He'll be okay, I think. Just day-to-day, -day, so it's not like it's a long-term lingering injury. He'll be okay. And that's what we need to do to keep this team winning. There we go. There we go, through December. We are on fire, and Labas is all better. So that's good to see. That makes me really happy and really excited, as you can tell. <laughs> um, he's upset with the fact we have yet to extend his contract. Well, let's talk about that, Mr. Jones. Let's talk about extending your contract. Hey, dude, I'm actually livid that I haven't been approached yet about having my contract extended. I'm loyal to this team, and I'm not feeling loyalty in return. Uh, promise you're getting an extension, man. Hey Tyrus, I'm really sorry that you're feeling like the loyalty isn't here. Uh, we want this. We want you on this team. And I promise to get an extension done to you within the next week. Okay, you got that. Who else isn't happy? Uh, Gasol. Gasol's not happy with the playing time he's getting. Well, let's go talk to him and deal with that. My skills are being wasted on the pine. Nobody gets puts Mark on the corner or in the bench. Uh, denying coddle, denying tough love, denying tough love. Don't. Don't mean to be harsh here, but I expect more from you. Once you start playing at your true potential, I'll reward you with playing time. Not a second before that. I assume we're not on the same page here. Might not even be in the same planet. You're right, we're probably not. 
Uh, Marcus Saul. Oh my god, again with this? Not hard. It's not hard dealing with Marcus Saul at all. Yes, it's Mark. It's Mark. Now, who else wants to talky talk? Uh, no, I'm not going to deal with Zach Wanegba today. I've had enough of dealing with players bitching about them playing time. Um, contract extensions. Wow, we have a lot of people to resign. Holy shit. Okay, Grant Gasol. You will resign. Let's just get these three locked up right now, and then we'll go with talk about Grant and Gasol. Let's get Jones right now. This episode, at least. Uh, he wants three years for 49 million. Um, yeah, let's let's give him like 47. See what he says. Let's start low, work our way up. Let's go with that. Um, oh, he took it. Perfect. Okay, good deal. Good deal right there. Let's take Kaminsky. We want him as well on this team. We took him early in the draft. He wants three years. How about four? We can't do four. Okay. <laughs> let's bring him down to 40. Oh, well, actually, let's see, give him a... Let's give an option on there. Can we do that? He wants three years, 49 million. Oh, wait. What was it before? Three and a team. Oh, okay, we only do three years for him. Okay. Oh, because he's just out of the contract. Okay. Sorry, confusion. Let's give him a... What's he at? 16. Is that right? Yeah, 30 million... 31, I, guess. I don't know how this works. It seems like it's going down. Oh, he, he took it, though. Okay, I was like, what? I didn't, know he was, didn't think he was going to take that. I'm confused with how that worked out. But, now we got Russell. Mr. Russell. D'Angelo Russell. What are we going to do with you, sir? You've been a great deal to our team since our trade. Uh, as a sixth man? No, you're not being a sixth man. What do you... No way, sir. Um, bird? What is... What's Bird? Let's give him a flat, straight up. Bring it down, 45.99. You took it, perfect. Good to see. Um, I'm not going to deal with D'Angelo, sorry, Gasol or Grant right now. I probably will resign Grant. Nothing too much, so that's for sure. I'm not giving him a lot of money after what he's been doing. But let's take a quick look at player stats. Um, see how they're doing on the year. Jones has put up 22 points. 8 assists, good for him. D'Angelo Russell also put up 18.5 with 7.5 assists. Melo's not having a great year at all, actually. I guess he's not getting the ball as much as he used to, probably. Only putting up 14. Uh, 6 rebounds, though, so that's nice. Kaminsky's doing another solid year out of him. A lot as good as last year, I guess. Lavasier having another great year, though. A little bit be much better than last year, actually. A couple more points a game. A couple more rebounds. Good for him. Dunn, though. Now, doing very good again. Dunn will be... Amp I'm not going to try and re-sign Anthony this offseason. Uh, if he's still around. Dunn will be our future small forward once Anthony is gone. That's that's stead in stone right now. Uh, Diallo's having... Not as good of the year as last year, but still doing good. I guess I'll just shit. My God. Grant's doing terrible. D-Wade's doing... We'll be spec out of him, I guess. And same with Aquanegba. He's doing okay for the minutes he's getting, actually. He's doing pretty good for the time he's getting. So that's that's good to see. Uh, and, yeah, that's that, I guess. So he's played one game, one minute, two points. Two games, one minute a game. Okay, I see what's going on here. Okay. Well, oh, all-star voting. Okay, got to take a look at that. Yeah, got to look at take a look at that. Ooh, day. Ooh, how's he doing? Okay. Uh, let's go to the East. Tyrus Jones, Tyus, sorry, Tyus, and D'Angelo are both in the top four, so that's interesting to see. Uh, backcourt, though. Okay, nobody in the starting ones, but Kaminsky, Anthony, and Lavis are all fighting for their spots. They're fighting for it. They're trying. They want it. Uh, Blackshear. Ooh, Blackshear's in Philly. Oh, yeah, because we traded Blackshear to Philly. How's he doing there? Uh, really good. Good for him, though. That's good to see. Glad to see he's doing A-OK. -okay. And backcourt, going through that real quick. 
Napier actually is really good in this game. It seems like he always progresses really well. Uh, Mude is doing great, as per usual. Uh, Tim Hardaway. You traitor. You backstabbing son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, he's got uh, Carter Williams with him now, though, so that's interesting. Uh, Elliot Day, the rookie, the Canadian boy. We're trying to get on the all-star team, it looks like. Uh, and our boy Wiggins doing so well, too. I just like looking at see what how other players are doing. Thon Maker, interesting. Um, but that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you guys did. Uh, let me know what I should do with Carmelo. Let me know what I should do with Gasol, Grant, those guys. Because I'm not quite sure. I want to keep Grant because I think it will be a good point backup point guard to, uh, to Jones. But he's not doing well at all. Gasol, a lot of salary cap. Do I move him? Do I try and reset him for less? Who knows? I'm not sure. And Anthony, I think it's time to move him. But do I just keep him all season for the playoffs and let him go? Can Dunn carry that starting position this year or do we wait till next? You guys tell me. Uh, I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. But that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.